The Trump administration's first 100 days have been historic. The American public made themselves heard last November, and we are delivering on this mandate. Promises made, promises kept. At EPA, we are doing our part to power the great American comeback. To mark this momentous day, we are proudly highlighting 100 environmental actions we have taken since January 20th to protect human health and the environment. Here are just a few of the many highlights. To protect our nation's waters, we updated water quality standards for 38 miles of the Delaware River Basin to protect critical fish species and keep the river clean. We approved a plan to further restore and protect the Long Island Sound over the next decade. We also developed a method to detect 40 different PFAS in surface water, groundwater, and wastewater. Our team completed one of three in-water cleanups at the Lower Duwamish Waterway Superfund site and revised the 2025 Idaho Water Quality Performance Partnership with the Idaho Department of Environmental Quality. To ensure clean air for all Americans, we demanded answers from an unregulated geoengineering startup, Make Sunsets, that has been launching sulfur dioxide into the air to receive cooling credits. We approved 25 state implementation plans, 16 of which were backlogged from the prior administration, so that environmental requirements go into effect faster, and we addressed air quality at the border with air filters and monitoring. To provide clean land for Americans, we have fully cleared, or cleared a portion of, four Superfund sites to date. We reduced by two years the excavation timeline at Westlake Landfill, a Superfund site in St. Louis, Missouri. We also ramped up efforts to end decades of raw sewage flowing into our country from Tijuana, Mexico. We have approved WIFIA loans across the U.S. to provide safe, reliable drinking water to communities, tested tribal drinking water for PFAS across various regions to assess and manage water quality, and announced an expeditious review of new science on fluoride. We completed our largest wildfire response in agency history in Los Angeles, California, clearing 13,000 properties of hazardous materials in just 28 days. We also completed our FEMA mission assignments in Western North Carolina after Hurricane Helene and Kentucky following flooding. These are just a fraction of the many environmental actions we have taken in the first 100 days. Our team at EPA is honored and motivated to fight for you and deliver results. The golden age of America is upon us and we will not slow down.